With the length of time we've been together, I was content that we didn't need to be a married couple. It's been eight and a half years. I'd already chosen to be with you for the rest of my day. But I thank you for having asked me to be your wife and for giving us this special day so that I can say these words and vows to you. Chris, your nerdiness makes me crazy about you. <laughs> I admire your vast knowledge of random facts. It's great for pub quizzes. And I love learning one and strange things from you. I, I enjoy seeing your creativity and the way you cleverly experiment to create things when an idea comes to mind. I love your passion, especially when it comes to Italian food and following recipes to a tea. <laughs> Thank you for sticking by me during every tough moment and even when we've had disagreements. Each time has allowed me to work on myself and become a better person because of you. Thank you for being my go-to dancing partner, my cinema buddy, travel buddy, my best friend. It's been eight years, seven months, and 12 days ago, we met on Stonely Road at the Horseshoe Taiwan, which is just a short 11,440 miles from here. But who's counting? And from where we stand today, who would have thought on that evening, you would have become my wife and I, your husband. I am so proud of you and everything that you do to me and for me, you are my rock. I will be by your side, holding your hands as we continue on our journey together. And wherever you go, I go. I love you deeply, unconditionally, and I always will be there for you. Regardless of whether my life is long or short, today I pledge my heart to yours for now and always. Here is to always being each other's hand to hold, to your love being a light in the darkness, and to always finding home in one another, wherever this future may take you. And on that note, it is with great excitement that I may now pronounce you Chris and Kim, <laughs> husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Kirby. Woohoo!